Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you're all doing well. I have to show you this. This is just freaking hilarious. Okay, so it all went like this, okay? So I'm just sitting here and I'm checking a few of my comments on um, my YouTube channel. And my friend, um, Country Sunshine Gal, says that uh, Charlotte um, played a video of me. Um, and I made Charlotte blush. And I'm sorry, Charlotte, I know you're a lady and a, a good southern lady and i am sorry that i made you blush um i did it the last time when you um read one of my out of body experiences that i sometimes have when i um see some of the terrible things that michelle has done to innocent people and um i i made you blush last time i made you blush this time I do apologize. I, um, <laughs> that's, that's actually my, when I watch the thing she does, that's kind of what happened. So there might've been a recorder around here and it might've been on there, but I don't know. It might not even been me. Who knows? Because generally after I watch some of the terrible things she's, she's done, um, I, I'm Italian and Scottish. I really can't help what falls out on my freaking mouth and sometimes the things that fall out of my mouth they go a little faster than my brain does so what I've had to do is I talked about this the other night is that I have to go and work out and thanks to the hag that is Michelle I'm down almost 15 pounds now in seven weeks I mean I work out to some some shit I mean, I, I work out and I have never, never, never worked out. I have severe asthma. I was that severely asthmatic kid. I had to freaking have my own personal nebulizer that went everywhere with me. So when I went to slumber parties as a teenager, I still had to bring my breathing machine with me because I had to have it three times a day. And so literally I was like, the boy in the bubble, like I would have been better off in a bubble. I'm just so, so horribly allergic to everything. And, um, so I never even did PE as a kid. I, it was not allowed for me to exercise. I, I got severely ill and I would throw up on top of everything else. I spent a lot of my childhood in the hospital for my severe, severe, severe asthma. Ultimately, um, as an adult, uh, for my cardiologist, they, um, put me on the treadmill and I just started getting really sick and, um, stopped and I wanted to go home. I just wanted to get out of there and I, I drove home and unfortunately on the way, um, I went into pretty severe anaphylactic shock. So by the time I ran in half my face and my one hand, my one hand was the size of an oven mitt, you know, and, um, the one side of my face was way out. I looked like the character mask from the movie with Cher. And, uh, um, my husband took one look at me and called an ambulance and I barely survived the ambulance ride to the ICU. So that was, are we seven years from when that happened? And I got formally diagnosed with being allergic to exercise, like not even as a joke. My body responds to exercise as an allergy. I get a histamine release. It's very rare. Um, it can happen if I have a fever, um, or if I'm in an area that's just kind of too hot. So basically I'm an indoor cat. I, I have to have my temperature and everything. So I cannot exercise, right? It was just nothing that was ever done. So ultimately now that I've done a lot of things and I've gotten a lot healthier from that, um, time in my life where I almost died in the ICU from doing the treadmill. And so through the air conditioned comfort of my home, I started doing this exercise thing that my husband has been doing. Um, it's with an Oculus. And so it's virtual reality. It's like you're playing a video game, but you, um, you can do boxing and you can, uh, have these sabers and you're hitting rocks and stuff like that. And my husband's lost like 65 pounds since Christmas. I mean, and so then all of a sudden I was the fat one in the relationship. It's not him being the fat one in the relationship because he, he's lost his fat. 
So um, I have medications. I had to take a series of uh, medications through the Mayo Clinic that were $6,000 in injection because my uh, my risk of um, dropping dead at that point after my anaphylaxis that landed me in the ICU was so high. Um, so I had to go through all of that. And um, so now I have to take daily medication for my histamines. And very cautiously in my air-conditioned home, I started doing some of that because I don't know, after I watch a Michelle video, pretending to be a boxer just kind of freaking really just gets me right there. Just, you know, kind of undercut, undercut. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I'm, I'm just all over the place, you know, hopping around. Kick, boom, boom, boom. Strike, boom. Up, undercut, left chop. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Spleen kick, boom. That, okay? I kind of have to do that. So, like I said, I'm down about 15 pounds. I watch Michelle video. I have some explosive diarrhea from the mouth. I go out and work out like a freaking beast. Take a long, long bubble bath. Long. Sometimes two hours at a time. Then I put coconut oil all over my body. I get a big old handful of coconut oil about the size of a baseball. Slather it all over my body. I love coconut oil. I do that. And then put on a nightgown or something. And then go and do the things I need to do. Like, you know, clean house. Do my YouTube channel. You know, the things that you do do some gardening, all kinds of stuff, because I found that I could not watch what Michelle did and turn from it. I had to be very productive in what I'm doing with the energy because as an empath, as a human being, the things she has done, as I see somebody in the comments listening to this and says, I like Tabitha Jane, but sometimes she goes too far. No, going too far is what Michelle has done. Going too far is what she has done. Absolutely. And I have spoken the truth. I know so much about her, but I can only release probably eight to 10% of that because I have to stay within the terms of service. Okay. So I have to wait till she says something and then I can disprove it to be within that. But fear not. I have created my dossier, and she won't be the per the she won't be the first person I have put in prison. I'm going to say that I can't say too much about my life's work because I didn't want my channel to go in that direction. Ultimately, when I get doxxed, then I'll have some a lot more uh, a lot more of a platform and. I'll be able to, you know, do some different things, but right now, um, that it just was, it was a decision that I made to, um, not, not use my name and not use my story and, um, not talk about, uh, the work that I've done in, um, Law and justice. Let's just say it that way. Okay. Let's just leave it at that. I, um, I think that it's, like I say, it's, it's going to be when I, when I do get doxxed, it, I, I, sorry, I, I have to be really careful with what I say here. And, um, when I, or maybe maybe it was me or maybe not me, um, mentioned that Lifetime Movie Network owns the rights to my story. It is because I have been on Lifetime Movie Network. My work is covered there. And they own first rights to it all. So... Um, I, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. From that, some idiot, some poor, unfortunate troll went and ran with a rumor that me or the person who went off on a tangent about Michelle is the daughter of a serial killer. So... Um, I've gotten quite a few emails 
this this week asking me if my father's a serial killer. (laughs) And I know who they're talking about because, you know, um, they're talking about that chick, Michelle, Melissa, something. And um, her father, so probably because I talk about how I'm from the West Coast, um, that chick whose dad was, wasn't he the semi-driver killer? He went up and down the, um, was it the I-5 killer? I don't know. And I can see it because probably they heard the lifetime thing. And then they saw, because I have my profile picture of when I um, had my extensions. And I, I put that profile picture up of me with my extensions as a flex to blowjob Betty because um, she had extensions. And I, I wanted her to maybe get the hint that extensions are generally supposed to match your hair. And uh, I, I've been a... I've talked about this before, but I've been a hair model and a product model and uh, eyelash model and um, done things like that. So uh, the extensions were done uh, by a salon when they were uh, bringing extensions to their salon. So I only paid for supplies for the beautiful hair that I have in my profile picture. So I see how somebody figured low hanging, oh, Lifetime, that blonde chick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Her, her dad's a serial killer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so that's who she is. Well, um, yeah, I, I, I decided, I was like, okay, do I run with that? And be like, all right, all right, Michelle, you better knock shit off or I'm going to call daddy and he's going to come and get back in the game, bitch. But no, I I was like, no, no, I don't want people thinking that because I I do know who that, that woman is. And and I wouldn't want her to, um, you know, be people to bring her any further trouble. Um, and then I saw that people think that, uh, that was Lisa C and I know, I don't, I know, or Lisa, um, or bot, I, I don't want anybody else to, um, you know, be blamed for what, what falls out of my mouth. So. Um, without saying you're all right, I'm not going to say you guys are all right, but I'm just going to continue to apologize to Charlotte for making her blush. That's all I'm going to say. So without further ado, without further dog do, let's see what Charlotte says here. All right. I'm going to get myself comfortable here. Okay. So, um, Charlotte is talking about just some things that have been posted lately. And she was talking about uh, my neighbor, Katie Joy. And uh, let's see here. I'll go here. And then start here. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, Katie. Whatever. Um, And then somebody said somewhere that Creepshow's channel was... uh, Got taken down by a lot of third-party copyright strikes. Don't know, but that's just what I read somewhere. And then somebody had asked Katie about Matt, about the lady in England. Katie responds, no, but that happened at the same time. But yeah, I mean, there we go again, you know, victim, victim, victim. Always the victim. Like, I, I could, if Katie Joy's channel ever got taken down, I couldn't imagine the parties that there would be on YouTube. Just can't. Emily D. Baker also oh, got one of those letters. Well now, when she covers her, she always says that one YouTuber. I don't blame him, Emily, at all. Not at all. Okay, next. I don't know. Full disclosure, I do not know who this is. But this was sent to me. And I listened. So I'm going to put y'all through it. And y'all are going to listen, if you don't mind. Um, And this is about Michelle. Lola. Uh, sorry, Lola. This is about Lola. Yeah. So, and this is a very, very small channel. Um, I, I think I recognize the voice in a way. But then there's other parts of it that I'm like, no, no. Maybe it's not who I thought it was. I don't know. But let's listen. Um, Cancel Michelle MGL. It currently has 131 subscribers. Michelle uh, Lola Montez subbait MGL scams widowers and veterans to feed her addiction. Please warn. It's a six minute video. So let's listen. Okay. Now, hold on. Because um, this was posted to my community page. This, um, 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 the person who wanted this message to get to Michelle. So um, without saying, you know, anything too much more, um, this video in its original form is on my community page. And if you or somebody you know has a channel on Facebook and they can drop um, information to Facebook. Well, I've talked about it. Michelle has a whole new group of people over on 
Facebook. She had um, conned everybody enough into paying for a whole second phone line for her. So she's been streaming on Facebook Live and YouTube while she's doing her cooking channel based on just telling all these people that she's got um, a big YouTube channel and she wants to bring it to Facebook. So this is what she's done. And um, this was my, or or uh, maybe not my, maybe me, maybe not me reaction to um, what I'd heard when Bot was reading the texts that Cuntis had provided her from what was really going on. So when I found out that Michelle's mods were watching and being a part of these scams, I was disgusted. And here we go. Let me make sure I have the speed right. Oh, there we go. My, I have a very fast brain, so I speed most things up because I, I, my brain goes super fast. That's why I talk too fast sometimes. So I try and slow it down sometimes, but I don't know. There you go. Here we are. Now, like I said, the funny part is to watch Charlotte blush when I, when I talk, when whoever it is is talking talks. I'm going to get a strike on my channel for this, but I'm just going to do this. I'm not going to monetize this. But for fuck's sake, stop giving money to an addict in active addiction. Amen. Can we please clap in the chat? I mean, that that got me. Um, hey, Breezy B. It's who you think it is, Mingo says. <laughs> and you come over here and, and we've got Liza Jane Lula Bell who uh, loves this creator. Hmm, I wonder who it is. So it's so funny because the second this hit, then look at how many people figured out it was me. I mean, the, or somebody else. And um, Sicilian Prince says he's silly. Saying it sounds like bot. I, I don't know. I think that me and bot can sound alike, especially when we're like mad. And today, as you guys can tell, um, my air quality is really bad where I live. And I have eight doses of albuterol in, in addition to other drugs. To, I'm really having a hard time with the air today. So sorry, I'm a little croaky. But um, then two of kind, you know, two of kind, you knew. I mean, suspected. Love this creator, Liza says. I mean, it's something, man. What in the actual F? F right. Is wrong? <laughs> Poor Charlotte, I'm sorry. She <laughs> threw her headphones and just made her jump. <laughs> so, so somebody, well, thank you, Mama. T the person who um was talking that's their channel there um the cancel michelle mgl thing and i think that that channel will um maybe have a lot of michelle videos there that will be there so that people checking her out can find things more easily i gotta figure i mean yeah that that with you people agree there have been how many people for one solid year showing that you know who has all of her bills paid yes i exposed it four months in that she has full ssdi and food stamps she doesn't pay for any bills she has no bills and alimony on top of her SSDI. <laughs> and I, it almost, I mean, I would almost guarantee that she's living better than most of she us does. are living. She won a right? thousand plates. It's just, yes. hey, Zen Solace TV. She's got a lot more money than a lot of oh, us. Oh, thank do. you for becoming a member. Or, or uh, I'm not sure, FBI, I, can, I don't know if you renewed your membership. Or if you were already a member, I think you were already a member before. I don't know. I can't. Okay. And then over here, Casey, um, that's Tabitha Jane. I may agree with her on this, but Tabitha Jane can go too far on sometimes. Okay. You have to go as far as the topic that you're talking about. Um, I, 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 I don't know. I mean, everybody can have their own opinion. That's fine. But, um, 
when people are abusing animals, <laughs> if I go too far, when I find out that somebody has abused a child, an animal, a veteran, a nice person, it's not me that's going too far. It's me calling out their behavior. Don't get it fucked up. Stop, stop. Here I go. Keep your focus on who I'm talking about. Okay? Don't don't lose fact of, of what the what the topic is. Okay? I give as good as I get, however that is. It's like I I, I match. And I, I have no tolerance for animal abusing, veteran abusing pieces of shit. Thank you, though. Thank you. Yeah, this isn't bought. I don't think. No, this isn't bought, y'all. Okay. Okay. I have said. This- Hold on, because why would they think that that's Snow White? That's not. I don't. I don't think I sound like or that person sounds like Snow White at all. Um. Then Miss Cass's voice is familiar. Hmm. Do you know that? Well, I guess if you guys have been with me for a while, you know that. Um. I get trolled a lot for my voice. Uh, so not today because I sound all croaky and everything. But um, I've, I've had it. So you guys have seen it. You know, there are people are like, are you an actual Disney character? Are you, are you like the little mermaid? Are you even a human? Like, what the fuck? It's all. People, how many communities have been torn apart? How many people who had channels that are all now down? Because half of the people wanted to sit there and defend this bitch. Well, she's scamming yeah. everybody. And now friendships are torn apart. Channels are down. People are hurt. And yep. she's sitting there laughing all the way to the bank. Raking in that money. Yep. Uh, y'all, I'm going to start a new segment on my show called DJing for Dollars. I can't get that out of my head. Like, I mean, I guess she was doing something. But the DJing for Dollars. Can y'all please send a girl some cash apps? Please, y'all know I got dog food to buy. I have my plane ticket I got to purchase. I got classes to go to. I got to eat for crying out loud. I need clothes. What what kind of outfit am I going to wear? I need rope money. I need shoe money. I need gas. And as I exposed, if you guys don't know this, um, I had to hold back until there was a good enough thing where I could prove it. But I had the information for a very, very long time, that while she had once gotten her insurance adjuster's license, it was revoked as fast as she got it when she ruined the end of ETN's military career. She falsely accused him of domestic violence, which um, domestic violence and active duty military, especially a well-decorated military man in the end of his career, being accused of being an abuser, she ruined the end of his career. She compromised everything that he had worked for all of his life and sacrificed as a military man playing her her games, okay? Um, if those of you who are, are new to me, uh, uh, please, I have a playlist for you. There's about 35, 36 videos all in a row linked together, so just one after the other, of all that Michelle has done. And I showed the video of Michelle actively abusing ETN and it's one of the videos that Michelle herself took to a judge and claimed that this was proof of ETN abusing her well nothing could be further from the truth so it didn't matter to the military she had him arrested okay an arrest is an arrest is an arrest as it is seen from the military there are many of us who have been arrested and there's no charges and or anything to follow. You can get arrested and, and not not um, charged, not convicted. There can there can be misunderstandings, emotions can run high, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So although there may or may not have been a conviction on his part, to the military, it's enough of a of a black mark that it needed to um, send a message and he could no longer carry out 
his job in the military. As he was accustomed to a higher income, it sounds like he had family connections and whatnot that were able to say, you know, hey, you know, get your license, come on in, and you can work, you know, at my office or whatever. And, you know, here you go. You know, so he had a good setup going. So he went and got his insurance adjuster's license. Well, you got Michelle, who's like, oh, I, I, I want to be an insurance agent too. I can do it. I can do it. And then we can work together and we, we can be at home and we can work from home. And then, and then you don't have to leave the house or anything. You can take for me, take care of me all day long. You can, you can cook for me. <laughs> you can cook for me and then we can work together. <laughs> and so, um, however it may be, she got herself together enough to also get the insurance adjuster certification. Well, since she loves that adrenaline junkie shit and everything, you know, she, she took it further and she, she, you know, so she got the whole thing. That's how she knew what she knew about ropes. And if we go back to the beginning, remember when she first came on the scene through Molly's chat, she called in as a rope expert and stated that she had been an insurance adjuster and had to climb ropes to get up on the roofs to assess for damage. There, it's all done. She already told you guys all this. So when she's sitting there saying that she needs money to become an insurance agent and get rope certified, all this stuff, she's already told you all that. But she made it sound as if if she could go and get this and she could be a woman who could make money on her own and wouldn't need to ask for money for anybody and got everybody to just pay for certification, pay for her to become an insurance agent, pay for her to go um, on airplanes to go and get the certification and, and pay for her hotel while she's there and everything. Her license had been revoked. As soon as she got it, the SEC took it away. Her license was revoked. It was revoked, and she is not eligible to ever hold that license again. I am not fully privy to exactly what happened, but something significant happened in that it's not that her license expired. It was revoked. So once she scammed all that money and everything, I was able to then prove on my channel and post it and show that her license that she had once been the adjuster and this was her license number and this is the license that is showing as it has been revoked. So all of these people had given all of this money for her to just go and take a vacation, for her to go and have a meet and greet. You see, when she left um, Louisiana and everything, everybody knows the story. The story about the closet, it is true. I've had several people who knew her from back in the day and have confirmed it and confirmed the details. And there's many other details in how um, CPS was actively engaged in um, the abuse that she had committed against her children. Now, uh, when... She heard me say it uh, a few months ago, and she freaked out and everything. And she said, no, that is not why I got my children taken away. That is because of what Joseph did. Joseph did because of what my oldest son did. He got my kids taken away. You don't get your children taken away from the actions of one child. It doesn't happen that way. Now, could you be warned and warned and warned that if you do not ha um, have stop this child from being with this child and whatnot, that can come in. Yes, but that is not what happened. The closet thing happened. So when she wants everybody to feel sorry for her because she had the SIDS thing, yeah, go to my community page and why don't you read the thing about where I can show back in 2004. And uh, she is in a group and she's talking about her abuse of anabolic steroids and how the doctor said that her abuse of anabolic steroids during the pregnancy um, may have caused the sad passing of her son. All of her children were born addicted to drugs and alcohol. And the baby that died of SIDS was no exception. He had severe respiratory issues. And if you look at it, and, it, and she was abusing steroids and meth and, um... <laughs> I can't even remember all that she was on while she was pregnant with that child. So that interfered with the development of his lung tissue. So that baby was supposed to, you know, 
after the baby was out of intensive care, he was supposed to be, you know, a baby that was really well taken care of and whatnot. And when he was found that night, he was tangled in a blanket and she had been out. It's not a secret. These are confirmed. I'm not, um, you know, making anything up. Uh, it's, it's very, very sad. So when somebody wants to say that I go too far, well, you know what, this, is this is who I'm calling out. I'm calling out somebody who's caused so much pain and continues to do so and extorted money out of her best friend's husband, who's a widower and figured that she had him on the hook for $600 a month for the rest of his life because she's been mooching on him, getting him to pay for food, pay for a butcher box, pay for all this shit. None of it's true. All of the money that has been given to her and she has had no bills. Can you imagine being a person having all of your bills paid for the last two years and getting an alimony check of 2200 your full SSDI check and full welfare benefits? All of your bills are paid, including your phone, your car, everything. That's the, that's what, that's the ransom that ETN still has to pay because he left her. They didn't have children together. Their marriage itself was very short. So me going too far? Oh, no, not me going too far. So, um, I, I have a pretty good idea. I'm getting the aggregate number. And if you know, um, or if you have sent her money, at, or you have screenshots of when other people have sent the money, please do send them my way um, at my email address of tabithajane0 at gmail.com. Um, the number I have will, of course, put her in federal prison ultimately, but um, she's going to go down for SSI fraud and welfare fraud, among other things, wire fraud, blah, 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 blah. So I know what I'm doing. This isn't my first rodeo. But that's all I'm going to say now. Gas money. I, I'm sure I'm missing about 10 items on that list, by the way. Crazy, ain't it? This is a woman who abused a man to put her in the situation that she's in. She abused a veteran and is now exploiting him to what end? Going yeah. and telling his friends that he fucked her out of alimony. Probably the same friends that she lied and said that ETN hit her. <laughs> everything when she put false domestic violence charges on him to ruin the yep. end of his fucking career how many people want to stand for a woman who gets money by selling other people's pussies that's what she did running girls she's <laughs> I'm sorry oh my god the first time oh, this is only the second time i've listened to this and i remember the first time that that part Threw me for a second, and this time it did the same exact thing. A pimp. She lost custody of her kids. So, um, sorry, sorry, I made you blush, Charlotte. Um, there are the clips, and they do show. So, when she was bragging to, she was ultimately she had a lot of business ideas that she was gonna do with Ski, and uh, Ski had a. He's open about this that he had a girlfriend who um, was uh, was in the business and he who was escort let's call it that that name for what it is right now let's not call it human trafficking hookering or prostitution or anything like that which I'm saying I am not judging I just think that it's wrong in our world that prostitutes and whatnot cannot put that on a resume do you know how horrible it looks on a resume you know the look on somebody's face when you tell them that you've been a prostitute for this many years i mean that means you're good with money good at pleasing people and everything but they got this look on their face across the table i'm just saying anyway so ski is open about the fact that he was in a relationship and his girlfriend was actively an escort so you know he know he knew the kind of money she was bringing in etc cetera, etc cetera. so um Michelle inserted that, yeah, she used to run girls. She was running girls. She was running girls. And running girls, as she was referring to it, she's talking about that she would set up other girls with men. She was their pimp. So then they would go and provide the service with their body and be paid money from the person who they did that. But then they would have to give Michelle a cut of that money. So running girls, Michelle was a pimp. Put it nicely. 
but she's a human trafficker, a pimp. So while it's put in these terms, I'm getting the message across. It's disgusting to take money when you're not the one who had to degrade yourself. Because she put them in the closet and took a thing mm. of gas and a lighter and threatened to blow them up if she didn't get what she wanted from somebody, which was most likely money. I have two versions of the story for what she was asking for. So she You were so thrown off, Southern Mutton. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a mess. Oh, nearly forgot was reading a New York City firefighter's memoir. And he wrote one chapter of filing um, in a firehouse and they called themselves the Felon Club. Bet you'd fit in, lovely Charlotte. Charlotte and the felons, you know. So, yeah, if you want to dox me, I mean, like, I I'm a felon. I'll save you a little trouble. Thank you, Sarah. Love you. She doesn't get money. She threatens to kill children. And she actively hurts a dog on mm -hmm. live YouTube. You don't care for the dog. Do you care about the children? Do you care about the veterans? To what end? And um, I'll say in here, so Southern Mutton said that um, she was too thrown off by it and whatnot. The thing is, is if you don't know what I or this person who's going off is referring to, then you may not know. But when you now see that hopefully you've seen it through Lisa's or you've seen it through um, my video where I, I explain and show I see what you can't. When you hear and see how all of Michelle's mods were in on the scams with her, that Michelle was saying, okay, yeah, well, I've already got one to pay for it. So let's get another one to pay for it. Don't tell somebody that we've already gotten a pay to pay for this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Now, again, take this out of your mind. There is no butcher box. There is no food. There is no meat for a year that she's bought. There is no insurance certificate. There is no rope certification. She tried to cover for when I exposed the fact that she did it and say that, oh, yeah, well, that was my Louisiana license that was revoked, so I've got to get it up for Georgia. Oh, no. So she doesn't realize that she just told on herself that while well, she's sitting there saying how she needs to get this certificate. No, it's all a lie. She's not getting a certificate. She can't get a certificate. She can't go into an interview. She's not sober. Cuntus went ahead and said when she said, because Cuntus, you know, thought that she'd be real cool to go ahead and show that, you know, she knew that Michelle was never sober. No. Tara Cuntus and Lisa C., they sat there and gaslighted every single one of us who was saying she's not showing any signs of deleterious tremors dts so she certainly the fuck did not stop drinking and you cannot stop drinking like she has been stopping drinking to this so to find out that tara and lisa c and all of that they knew she had not stopped drinking they knew that she was not getting any of these actual things and they were the ones putting up all of the things putting up her things and and putting up her cash app and everything they have their hands in it and in a video that I'm working on right now, I'm going to explain what she does when she loops other people into her criminal activity. I'm going to show you what she does with them. Hold on to that thought, okay? Now, over here in the chat, um, <clears throat> people, you know, get it, and they, they say in here, too, you know, they've heard it because Michelle, um, those clips are all over. She, she doesn't stop. She doesn't deny. She was running girls, running girls. And I call her for what it is, you know? And, uh, let's see. And Super Angie says, you know, my opinion, Michelle and whoever else is in the scam and even past crony should go to jail. Well, now this is interesting and I will explain why Michelle has been able to avoid jail each time. With all of her DUIs, each time it came down to it, she'd play the nice Michelle, the apologetic Michelle, the I'll never do it again Michelle, and she got rehab every time. So when you see her driving drunk and laughing about it and everything, that's because she's gotten rehab as opposed to it. Now, I have high respect for Charlotte just admitting that she's a convicted felon, and that's a part of her past, and she's changed her behavior from that. So what? Is there any one of us who couldn't have been at the, you know, at the wrong place at the wrong time and gotten caught for what we were doing and had to have served time? I think a lot of us could. And I don't know Charlotte's past and I don't care about Charlotte's past. That 
she just mentioned that in there that she's there. And I want to make sure that everybody knows I'm not, I'm not coming about uh, here saying anything about that. When people change their behavior and they truly change their behavior and they have their past, so what? It's when they continue that behavior and now they found a way for, to scam YouTube subscribers into giving them money to continue that criminal behavior they have a problem with. Now, um, Tallulah, could this be her local friend? I ain't Michelle's friend. Um, and Molly says, yeah, Michelle talks about it all the time. Yeah, she ran girls. That's disgusting. And I call it what it is. Now, I do want to say, um, and I think it was even Penelope about the part. Didn't Penelope put up something in the beginning about Michelle taking her kids and locking them in the closet? And then somebody ran with that and said, well, she was threatening to unalive them kids. And I think it was Penelope who had left a comment on one of my videos saying, no, that story got twisted, that she didn't actually threaten to unalive her kids. I'm just bringing that to y'all's attention because um, I, I, I don't know. Does this woman stop? I saw her using her food stamps when she went into the grocery store, what, mm -hmm. eight months ago? And started well. some fuck shit at the counter. Yeah. In her EB she was in a fight with the cashier because uh, there was this whole line of people and they were like getting pissed off because she was uh, rattling through all of her stuff looking for her EBT card. And that was the time when people really saw her crater face. So they felt they focused on the crater face and the fight that she was in in line. And I focused in on what was in her wallet and she had the EBT card. So she's had food stamps for quite a while. And somebody asked about her um, thing. And yes, she has full SSDI. So she's had it for over 20 years. So now remember, she's bragged about making $10,000 a month as a escort. Um, so while she's getting full SSDI, food stamps, welfare, and everything, she was making over $10,000 a month per her mouth. I believe it because she scams this much money. There's never enough money for her. Her addiction runs her about eight to $10,000 a month. Think about that. Think about how much money is going into her addiction and think about how many people here on YouTube she has scammed into buying those drugs for her because she has nothing to show for that money. There isn't this, there isn't that, there isn't this, there was not that. This was all money. This is why you do not give an addict, an active addiction money. And then there's people, no, no, I, I bought this and then she sent me a receipt. Yeah, she gets a receipt from somebody from something that she finds on the internet or she has an old receipt from when she was taking the classes and that ETN did take the classes and the courses. So she has those receipts. Of course, she's going to do that because she says that she will email you the receipt. What she wants is your email so then she can privately harass and scam and scam and exploit and manipulate money out of you. Her goal is to get these people private and she's done it. And she's done it on our watch, and we need to do better. And if that's going too far, come on. Look at how far she's went. And that's the problem. Now, I cannot believe that the YouTube com community as a whole has stood there and watched her abuse Jake and allow her to have channels. That disgusts me, and it shouldn't have never. People should have turned away from that. She was just making a joke out of it and everything. She she she's been still kicking and hitting Jake, and the way that she talks to that those dogs is reprehensible. And I hope that um, Valley Girl gets those dogs once Michelle goes away. BT food stamp shit fell out. I said then she has mm. food stamps. Okay, I know you guys don't know me. I know. Okay, so over here, pisses me off about the dogs. And somebody says, who's got the dogs? Well, let me tell you this. So while well, she went on her little um, meet and greet that she had her subs just pay for her to go because she's got everybody in her hometown now convinced that she's a big famous YouTuber. She has a big famous channel and everything. So she's down there. She left the dogs with nobody to take care of them, nobody to come in and water them. She threw a bunch of dog food all over the floor and says that they drink from the toilet. Yeah. So where's that 
the, where's the other end of the food going to go? That whole house is going to be filled with dog shit. And Etienne has been having contractors in there fixing things. Well, she's left the dogs in there for while well, she goes for a meet and greet. And the whole entire thing is going to be torn up. Dog piss and dog shit. Not to mention the bats, rats, and everything else. But, you know. And look, I've... I've heard somebody say that before, that Michelle was caught, you know, using food stamp. I don't know. I'm just, I, I don't know. Well, that you don't know. Um, and over here, um, Gymnast Girl says, yeah, that's not true about the closet. Someone did to run with that. No, there, there's plenty of people who have came forward and explain um, that she did. And yes, and now the reason why now... She has been on full SSDI for over 25 years. So when she had her children, her all of the rights from to her children terminated, she lost full custody. She lost custody of the, all of them. All, her parental rights were terminated. And her daughter has a restraining order against her still with her father until she's 18. Um, as Marcia says, why were her children removed from her? It's because what, she did. She did. And of course, of course, Michelle is going to deny that. But it's sad, but it's true. And she used those kids for pawns and she extorted the dads endlessly. So she got out of not ever having to pay for her children, support her children, care if her children are hungry or anything like that. You know, her children became somebody else's money, somebody else's problem when she lost her parental right. But she never cared for him when she had them. And that that's that's why she got them taken away. But to think about how those children are going to have problems for their entire life because they were born addicted. And we see the way that, you know, her, her one son has been, um, who takes after her in his criminogenic ways and it is, you know, in and out of prison. And um, But he has insight from the conversation she's had with him online. You can tell that he actually has insight, whereas she has none. And then over here, Bunny Bunny, unfortunately, Matthew's behavior is so reprehensible that people will believe the worst about her. It's because the worst is true. I, um, I don't say these things lightly. You have no idea. You have no idea of her whole criminal history. You have no idea what me and so many know that we have to hold back. You have no idea. And what you can see and what we can prove should be enough to know that this is these are these things are true. Now, um, on my community page, I do have that right there where um, the clip of her um, talking about the steroid abuse. Um, so you can go to my community page and and look at that as well. And I'll be um, adding some more things in a couple of days. What people in my real life know about me, so you maybe didn't understand that there are people who have said that they need to literally write on their forehead when they wake up, never fuck with me, <laughs> okay? okay? It is because of what I'm capable of doing because uh -oh. I find ways of exposing the truth in ways that other people have not been able to. When I get doxxed, and I surely will. I hate, to, I hate to say it, like I don't even, I'm not for sure who this is, but. I hope she's preparing herself for that. I'm not going to do it. It's coming. My attorney. Nobody I know is going to do it. You know, you know what I'm saying? But I'm sure there's somebody out there that's probably looking up this poor woman now. I, my we attorneys are explain ready. explain a little bit more about that. But for you, Michelle, listening, you're the one who said that you want to have a lifetime movie written about you and everything. Bitch, they did one on me. All of the rights to my story and what I've done. Oh, my. I, I have done shit are held by Lifetime Movie Network. And that's all I'm going to say. Uh, you start to scare me now. So stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop Stay it. Stay on my good side. I like her too. 
<laughs> One person in a family won't get uh, much, so maybe she still had her kids on her case because that doesn't make sense, Jennifer says. No, she has full SSDI. Um, she has full SSDI because... At one point in her early years, she was indeed a real estate agent. And that is how she knows how to sabotage this house right now. Um, so she did have that money that showed. So her SSDI was in the system. It is the significant amount that she has. And it is certainly enough to live on. There are people who live on much less and do fine. But she has SSDI, full welfare. What she should have done is she should have applied for um, Section 8 housing. I don't know if you guys call it that, but that's what it's called in our area, like subsidized housing or whatnot. So she should have done that, you know, when she got, as soon as she got the divorce. So she'd be on a, um, a waiting list and she would have to pay just a, a tiny portion of that SSI to live in an apartment. Now, as I have stated, she's going, she will either be in prison or she will be in long-term, long-term inpatient rehab, followed by psych rehab, and then she will go into a group home if she is ever to have a chance at sobriety. She's not a person who can do this on her own. The The amount of brain damage that she's suffered due to her 25-year um, history of these very, very strong drugs um, has taken its toll. It's it's pretty obvious and has taken its toll. You know, she's had those stents placed. She did not ever have a stroke. She does indeed have the cardiovascular issues because of the massive amount she smokes, drinks, and mixes pills every day and benzos, and none of them are prescribed. Um, she may have old bottles of prescriptions from certain things, but um, she's not seeing an actual doctor right now. No matter what she says, those drugs are not coming from there, and yes, she is indeed an opioid addict. She sn she snorts them. Hi, Lavina. And it wasn't because I played the victim. It's because I played the victor. And I have taken this world and made it a better place for my legacy. And I wish that you could say that you didn't have such a shit whoa, whoa, legacy. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think, whoa, 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 whoa. Really? Who the fuck is this? Casey says, I think we've got to be careful with Tabitha. I'm not attacking her, but she will absolutely take a snippet of the truth and build an entirely new story. Really? Why don't you enlighten me on what I have made an entire story out of a snippet of the truth? Now, can it be that I just can't be a robot and put out facts out there and do this because no one would like it? So you do need to build a story? Sure. Are there stories in which I have told you that I need to be careful because I need to protect the actual names and I'm building a creative story on certain things? Oh, absolutely. But I'd like to know what the fuck else you're talking about, Casey. So go ahead and hit me up. For all that you've done. Be careful with Tabitha. But thank Talk God you. you were stupid enough to run your mouth on social media. You may have money, but you have no morals. You have nothing. You are a lonely woman and you will always be one because of the way that you have mistreated your children who loved you. How can you dare to scam and say you need food when you have kids out there that you didn't you didn't provide for? When you let other mm. women get money for selling their pussy and they give you a cut of it? This is so disgusting, you vile piece of shit. Sounds like somebody's had enough of Michelle. Okay, so over here um, where people are saying with all the money that she's made in cash apps and collecting SSD, that's the scam on the system. Here's the thing. She's got SSDI. So that's why she was able to continue to have SSDI when she got remarried to ETN. That didn't stop. It continued. That's the only one that would have. ETN's income would have made her SSI stop and she would have had to have reapplied. She has her SSDI for her significant and well-documented mental illnesses in which she has admitted and stated as such. Because of those significant mental disorders that she has talked about, they do cause issues with her keeping gainful employment. That is why she has it. Now, she has twice been under investigation for social security fraud and welfare fraud. So I know of twice. She got off of it and I know why, but you know, 
just like Charlotte, you know, she did whatever and did her time. Well, Michelle never has to do her time because uh, she does something else. I'll explain that. But uh, seriously, uh, Casey, I'd really like to know what you're talking about. I, I don't know what you're talking about on my channel. Tell me where I've ever taken something and made something out of it that isn't true. That I haven't backed up with the truth. I'm, I'm really curious about this. Um, Ann Manning seems like a very smart person. Says, I like this person. Good. Trigger language warning. Well, you know what? Sometimes you have to get the point across. And so with all the money she's made in cash apps and collecting SSD, that's a scam on the system. Here's the problem. It's SSDI. So there's a significant amount of cash that you can make and still accept your SSDI. That is why Michelle has people giving her money on all different ways. PayPal changed their system to where if you make over $600 in a year on whatever, they report to the IRS starting next year. They got it all in the system this year and starting, but they didn't do anything with the reports. So that is why Michelle has had people private messaging her and emailing her because she has other ways of just wanting them to send things, sending gift cards, sending this and that, because then she sells those gift cards to people who give her cash. She has them send her like, you know, pots and pans and whatever. She sells them and gets cash. This is what she does. Okay. So the cash app is going to burn her in the end because it's a good way to show right now how much she is actually taken in the problem is well okay so she has her usaa checking account she doesn't let that money go through there she has them on these different things so she's stupid enough now to have hung herself but the way that she did this and got everybody's email address. So there's all of these people out there that we don't even know how to warn because she got what she wanted. She got their email addresses, but, oh, we wouldn't want to go too far and let anybody know the truth about Michelle, would we? We just got to protect Michelle. We don't want anybody to know the truth. Oh, or Lola. That's what, it, Super Angie, that's what I was thinking. That's exactly what I was thinking, Super Angie, but I don't want to say it publicly because I can't... Can someone drop her link, please? Hi. Hi. Hi, Random Moments with Kelly. Sub up, sweetheart. I'll go on over to Tabitha Jane's page. I mean, um, this person's page. Ah. And then, uh, so Marcia says here, there are references many times about her kids, but never the reason she lost, uh, never the reason about why she lost them. It's because that's what she did with them. And it's one of the many, many things that she did with them. So if somebody wants to sit there and split hairs and be like, no, that's not why she, she lost them. It was because of the other. Th yeah. Oh, there are horrible, horrible stories of what she did. What you see now is what you saw of her as a mother. Imagine having children around her. Okay. It was horrible. And I'm just really glad that her daughter has a really good dad because that's got to be really hard knowing that your mom used your name as her prostitute name. Yeah, she used her daughter's name as her prostitute name. That going too far, Casey? Back it up. Sit there and exploit your husband's friend when his wife was dying by taking all of the attention from your friend group to you and posing as etn to say that you were life blighted and you're um warpath says i hope she can do like something like have her held a candle oh i've got her i got her ass nailed to the wall don't, don't worry we're on a ventilator and oh we've got to just pray and hope that she stays in there hangs in there for longer that's so messed all up. The people who are really actually upset about a real good woman dying put their focus on you, you cockroach. Without a. If you think about that little story right there, that's messed up. While mm -hmm. her friend was allegedly, you know, losing yep. her life slowly, you know, being unalive, 
Michelle concocted that stroke story. She did it. She did that. So, so her, I mean, really? Well, their friend was, died. Michelle, instead of having a normal reaction to grief, decided to pretend that she had a stroke and posed as ETN to Trey, her friend's husband, and said, texted, oh, sorry, your wife died, but you know what, Michelle, she had a stroke, and she was she was life flighted last night. She's gone on a vent. It doesn't look good. You know, we got to pray for her. So then all of the people who should have been sad about Trey's wife dying were actually all focused on on Michelle, and if Michelle was going to pull through, and all of that. And then, when it was all said and done and everything, Michelle acted like she had this wonderful recovery, acted like she had this wonderful recovery, and then started using Trey, the widower, for money. She's extorted money after money after money. And if we wouldn't have busted her, if we didn't go too far, KC, we wouldn't have been able to get it out of her and find out that she had him written down for being good for at least 600 bucks a month. She didn't have Trey pay, pay her electric and light bill and all this. And this is what she keeps telling her mods is, oh, hey, well, if I can get somebody to cover this bill and I can get somebody to cover this bill, those bills are all paid. They were all paid, but then they're all paid by her SSDI. Okay? She's not paying any of the damn bills. She doesn't have any intention of it. She never has. She needs a living host. She probably got this money to go and meet a man because she's got quite a few on the, um, well, on the hook, let's just say. Not saying she's, uh, uh, um, okay, so Penny Winkle, yeah. She's made upwards of 10 count, 10 case started from, based on what we've seen. It's, it's higher than that. It is much higher than that. Um, and it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. She's the one laughing all the way to the bank. Marie Laveau sounds like a very smart person, says, I like this woman. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then Country Sunshine Gal, who told me that um, I was on here, I mean, or somebody was on her. Uh, that's Tabitha Jane. She's awesome. Thank you. And then they're saying in here, they keep saying that this Lisa, it's not Lisa. And then uh, Queen Swag says, I think I know who this is. I'm sub to her. Are you, are you sub to me? And then Lisa C. never swears, apparently. She had an attack of the vapors over 12. You guys thought that I was Lisa C.? What? Lisa C. talks like this. And, you know, you just, you can, you can make the content on, on Michelle. You know, you girls can make your money. But come on, let's, let's just, just, just. Let's just take it off of her a little bit, okay? Let's just, you know, let's let's not push it too far. I mean, this is a woman, you know, and 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 she's just starting over. So you, you guys, but you know what? Just make your make your content. Uh, just don't do everyday videos about her, okay? That's how Lisa see. I thought you guys were saying I sounded like bot, which I can see sometimes, like you know when I'm ranting, but uh, don't see it. Um, and yeah, you can't, you, okay. So YouTube changed its terms of services. So many people are under the impression that you cannot say the naughty words on the YouTube, but you can. Now the vice president who was in before was very much anti-swear and didn't realize that the F word, which is one of my favorite words is it is a verb, a noun is very descriptive. And it's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite words of all time but only in the right company. And I should not have said the word, the F word or the pussy word or anything in front of Charlotte. I'm very sorry. I know, I know you're a lady, Charlotte. Um, but anyway, my kiss has just jumped up and took the thought right out of my head. I don't know what I'm saying. Maybe it'll come back. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh Lord, what was I saying? Um, hmm, it's gone. Living host, you cannot exist. Without money, you're nothing. How dare you? You have full SSDI. 
full welfare and you have for how many damn years? Well, oh, that's what I was going to say. Um, cause somebody said, um, that because Michelle was a student and she got financial aid. Michelle was not a student. She did not go back to school. She was not going back to school. She could not go back to school. One of the other things, remember, is that she has not ever stopped drinking. She could not go to an interview. She could not get an application and then start a job because you have to submit yourself to a urine screen for most jobs, especially that of an insurance adjuster who's going up on roofs. Now, let's let's go into Michelle land and act like she's actually had a couple of strokes. She couldn't get certified to go back up on a roof. Why are these people even thinking that for a second? She had those stents placed and whatnot. Not that she actually had strokes, but she has circulatory issues. She is not healthy at all. And because of her um, other issues, she is not going to be able to get any job, okay? So then this Kim says, who is Tabitha Jane? She's actually really cool. And then it says, so is MS back on YouTube? Okay, now this is a thing. And of course, people, and you know what? Um, Snow White, you know, asked me to stand down because, you know, and just let Michelle go because she's gone away. Okay, here's my thing. No, she's made over 50 channels. She's out there right now purporting herself to be a big YouTube star at a meet and greet. Okay? She has been building her Facebook community in the same way that our YouTube community was one year ago. Those of us who have her where we want her need to continue until it is fully done because the YouTube community right now is under the impression she has a big YouTube cooking channel. So if we take down all of our videos because she's gone right now, the people who might get curious about her cooking channel on YouTube may not see what they're getting into because right now she's got about 750 new suckers on the hook on a Facebook and that's why she's going, okay? Now remember her 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 thing, Michelle always wins. That's because people do this and they assume that the next person is gonna get her and that we need to stop because she's stopped here. Oh, no, those aren't the rules I play by. You abuse an animal, you ab- abuse a child, you abuse a veteran, you extort money from a widower, you defraud the social security system, you take resources that are meant for actual victims of domestic violence, you continue to use your spouse card and um, get discounts from hotels and whatnot, which are for members who have served in the military. And you continue to do this and you have all of these people on YouTube that you've got their email addresses about and you're just hoping and praying that everybody's going to stop because you walked away. This doesn't, no, I'm not done with you yet. I just got started, bitch. If people are, are tired, they put up a good part. I mean, they, they were fighting a war here. There have been many, many battles and a lot of people have been here for a lot of battles and they've all played their part in getting rid of her and showing, because that's what YouTube wants. YouTube is a self-policing community and they expect us to report others that do not play nicely within the community and to that end we have done that and that's where I have not shown all of you what happens behind the scenes you do not know all of the hate the threats the disgusting crap that I get threats non-stop but because I refuse to make content out of it you don't know it okay it doesn't mean it's not happening so all that I deal with by trying to prevent others from being scammed by her continues towards me. It's not over for me. I'm not done. I'm not stopping. I play for keeps. I I like our criminal justice system. It takes a while for technology to catch up, and that's where she has been ahead of this. But I have now proven, and I, I am continuing to prove, that she's been doing this for 25 years. And the reason why she continues, Michelle always wins, is because when she's done with one group, she goes to a next, she goes to another group, and then goes to another group. One group leads to another group. Just like a cockroach, it needs a host. She needs living beings to be able to mooch across, to take away their life source, their life's blood, their life's work, what the money they earned, she thinks is theirs. And it is never enough. Never enough for her. And so it's up to Me, if it has to be up to me to be the one that stands in court against her, the one that puts it together 
so that it's it's done in crayon so that the the prosecuting attorneys can see things in crayons as to how simplistic it is as to hear this this and this and this is what what law she broke here and this is what what statute she broke here and this is the day she did this and this is this and this is this and this is all of the people that you can say that you can call right now and they will attest that they did this and each one and every single one of those is a different and separate account of wire fraud you got it i'm done i'll be there i will be in court you bet and I will take a fucking bow when I am done. Anyway. Anyway. Thank you, Mama, Mama T, for putting up that other person's channel. Well, you brag about making 10000 a fucking month. How many girls are you running then? Because God knows no one's going to pay for your fucking pussy. How many girls did you run? We just call you pimp now? Okay, hold on again pimp. here. Who's saying this? Bulldog Mama. Sutter Mutton, I didn't think she would say a lot of stuff. Seems like she got a lot more angry. It sounds exactly like here. Why do you guys think I sound like Lisa C? What are you talking about? Exactly, Pennywinkle. This isn't Lisa C. Mama, who? Who? This woman doesn't have a Yankee or a Maine accent at all. It's not Lisa C. Bunny, bunny, smart. <laughs> Bathtub Mary, that voice is familiar. Ah, uh, hello. I mean, oh, uh, do I sound like her? Hmm. Imp and Michelle, you're disgusting, and everybody knows you're disgusting. And you've now had all of these people who gave you the benefit of the doubt, no matter what, that you're sitting there saying you need food when God knows you can't even fucking make macaroni and cheese that you get <laughs> from the gas station that's in a thing, and you just have to put it in the microwave yourself and bring a fucking spoon to your mouth. Oh my. Go to the taco truck and drive home after you've had some margaritas. Fuck you for all of the people you put in danger and fuck you for all the people you've hurt. And thank God your stupid mouth has saved Trey from ever giving you another dollar. And let's hope to God ETN gets a hell of a wife and that she makes sure that you never do anything again. And if you do, let's hope that she. Yeah, if y'all want to see her like really lose it, Michelle, wait till it. Eddie Ann or whatever, ATM, Eddie, whatever his name is. Wait till he gets another woman. That's not going to be pretty. Yeah. You yeah. know it's not going to be pretty. She pisses on your fucking grave. Knock it off on behalf of all humankind, you fucking dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you, Missy. Um, the wrong Missy says this message is on point. Thank you. Um, and then, oh, Marie says, okay, but remember, Michelle said she's trying to get off SSDI. There you go. Okay. So, exactly. She was trying to convince others that if they just paid her just this little bit, and they paid this little bit, and they paid that little bit, and we're just at 35, 35, 35. We need 45 right now. We need to have 50. What about a 75? Do we have a 75? Do we have 100? I got 100 right now. Well, I don't want to use that 300 I have on there because I don't want to use that 300. Can I have a we just need another 35, 35, 35. We need $35. What about, what about you over there? What about you over there? What about you? Just go ahead. Can you give me an email address? Can you give me an email address? Can you give me an email address? We need the 35 folks. We need 35, 35, 35, 45. Can we get a 45? Can we get a 50? Yeah, that's what she was doing. So um, she had all of the people convinced the one night that she just needed this one thing that she could get unlimited airline flights for $399, this one fee for $399. There was, there was this thing and you can get, you can go anywhere you need in the United States. And then that way I can go and get all of my certifications and I can get off of SSDI. I, I won't even need it. I'll be making so much money. I'll be going from places to places. I'll be going, I'll get called all over. I'll get, I'll work for FEMA. I'll be up there. I'll be up on all of the roofs, okay? Okay? So, yeah. She had them all convinced. She had them all convinced. All of the people. But on the inside, her mods knew that that's not what she was doing. Her mods knew that she had already gotten the money, she said, for the three ninety nine for unlimited, Okay? And then she said that at the last minute she changed her mind and didn't. So that meant she still had that money. Um, in a chat, I caught a screenshot where somebody was saying, I pay all of her bills and this is how she treats me. 
And there were, there are other people in there that you can see that she did not actually make mods that seemed like they were getting really, really frustrated because she wouldn't mod them up. And she was trying to tell, they were trying to tell her what to do. So it turns out she has a lot of people who are paying a lot of her privately. So going too far? Oh, you don't even know the links I'm going to go, Casey. Uh-huh. And then, um, Crispy Street, oh, I feel sorry for whoever that woman is. She's not going to have an easy what? Easy what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just. Uh... Okay, hold on. Hold, hold on there, Charlotte. Okay, um, Chris Retreat. Oh, I feel sorry for whoever that woman is. She's not going to have an easy what? Not going to have an easy what? I don't know. Hi, country girl, Brenda. Uh, wow, she's upset. No, it's fine. I. I have these attacks when I hear some of the horrible things that she's done and that people have been standing there and, 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 and I can only say that the people who saw that she had all of that money and were in there as mods putting up her cash app repeatedly, repeatedly, really repeatedly, and they knew that she was scamming all of this money night after night after night. I can only say that they must be equally disgusting. And morally bankrupt. Because to slither up like that with a snake like Michelle. I don't even know. If you're human. I don't know what the hell your problem is. But now to know. And for a while she had all of her mods convinced that she was going to take them all on. I'm going to take all of us. We're going to do a girl's vacation. We're going to go to Florida. I just got to secure the flights. I'm going to secure the flights and then we can book the hotel. And I've got another man on the hook. <laughs> he's, he's a new and improved ETN. Yes, he is a new and improved ETN. Um, yeah, I think that she had them all convinced she was going to take them all on an all expenses paid uh, trip. And then they were going to, you know, do videos and have um, fun and, and get, more money and more money and they were gonna you know go and be a bunch of girls but michelle's in it for herself she doesn't think of anybody else and wait till i show you how i know mm -hmm. oh like casey says i take a little bit of information and, and go with it yeah like i say fact check me bitch I, I, what the hell i don't even know what this casey be talking about um for the beginning of my channel i sat there and i uh provided all of the legal documents and here's the other thing is that casey maybe you may not know is that my channel is diversified there's a little something for everybody and i try to keep my michelle content at 10 percent. so i have 350 videos i think up so there's 350 there's 35 around 35 36 36 36 so i have 40 um Michelle video. So I try to keep her at that 10%, maybe 15%, but I will always call out a scammer. Absolutely. Uh, I can't, I don't know what, she, what she's talking about. Um, anyway. I heard that over the weekend. I'm like, what the heck? Had to listen. All right. Now, if y'all have not watched Tragic's Rope video, Oh my God! You don't know what you're missing. Exactly, tragic is real. Funny. Tragic's so funny. I've loved Tragic from the very beginning. I just think that she is such a, it's just a cool lady. Just a cool lady. So thank you all for um, supporting me, um, in here. And crispy treat. Don't worry about me. You, I, I deal with so much behind the scenes. I don't. I just don't make content out of it. I refuse to. Um. When there's a threat that rises to a certain level, of course, then I do file a, 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 a appropriate um, complaints with the appropriate law enforcement, and I I just I'm okay. This isn't this isn't my first rodeo. And thank you, Charlotte, for covering that really cool girl that you just did. <laughs> Um, and I, again, Charlotte, I do apologize for making you blush. Oh, about the swearing. There you go. Okay. So anyway, they've changed the terms of service on swearing. So, um, once you're monetized, you go and you have to, you go through a series of things and you certify whether or not this is discussed in the video. This is discussed in the video if there is profanity. So you can't have profanity in the title 
or in a thumbnail or in the first, what is it, first five seconds or whatever, you can have it throughout the content it, it abbreviated or the actual word, even if it's a fuck word, as long as it is part of the dialogue, um, like, like a stand-up comic would, etc. And of course, in my videos, I have to check the box. So yes, there is profanity. Now, that particular video was not appropriate for mine or anybody's channel. That channel right there probably going to get taken down. Luckily, I don't know who it would be. Must be Lisa C's. Um, so, you can swear. Things have changed. It's okay. Um, I guess I'll have to check out Casey's uh, channel and see where, where what she does with, with her channel. And, and, and it, ah, I'm kidding. I should not have focused on Casey's uh, thing saying that I take one fact and go in there. Oh, fuck. I don't, I don't know how, how she creates her content, but you know, anyway, I should not focus on the one mean thing that somebody said. I should focus on all of you who are amazing, who support me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I do, uh, I do apologize for the, um, the language, if you heard what I was responding to, if you have not yet, please go to my channel and listen to what I'm responding to because I explained it and it'll make more sense if you haven't heard it yet. Thanks. Thanks again. And as always, if you feel so moved to give me a cash app, Tabitha Jane 13. There's a little picture of my boo-boo cat in the picture of my cash app to make sure it's me. So if you feel like you want to make sure that I have a little money for Starbucks, give me some cash app. That's Tabitha Jane 13. And give me cash app, cash app, 25, 35, 45, 50. I right hear 55. You know, just a little dabble, do you? A little tip if you feel inclined. Tabitha Jane 13, thank you so much.